Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome to another Uta Macross Gacha video with me. As you can see, we have a brand new banner with Basara biting a Halloween lollipop right beside Makina's Gacha that is still ongoing. Um, so we're going to take a look and see whether Basara's new episode play is actually worthwhile to toss your money in or is it just a very nice um, way of obtaining costume points for his brand new Howling Moon costume which most of the girls are actually frantically um, trying to get <laughs> so guys um, before taking a look at the episode plate let's take a look at the costume itself to see whether it's actually worthwhile unlocking this costume with episode ops or not so as you can see the costume is pretty nice um, and makes Basara look like a werewolf which basically is what the title of the costume is all about Howling Moon. Um, so yeah, um, it's cost the costume um, specialty um, basically does total and support three percent up. So we've seen recently a lot of costumes with double effects, um, but of course, usually costumes with such effects, the percentage rate is pretty low. Um, three percent is pretty decent. Because some of the basic costumes that most of the divas have always have 3% um, boost or 2% boost. Um, rarely we will see 6% boost but usually 6% are for costumes that actually uh, specifically boost one particular thing only. Um, so yeah, with 3% boost and uh, a boost two different things, this is pretty useful in that sense. I guess the costumes are also reaching to another level of tier, um, so which is fantastic. So I guess the costume itself is definitely worth unlocking, especially if you're looking to boost your total score, you know, for high score purposes. And of course support if, let's say for example, the song itself has a pretty tough enemy to fight during the Valkyrie uh, mode. So guys, um, costume wise, I would say is better to unlock it through episode plate unlocking because using um, episode ops um, the item itself to unlock the costume can be pretty hefty if your luck isn't that good um, when it comes to pulling episode plates from the gacha itself all right let's take a look at the episode plate to see whether actually it is worth to toss in money to definitely get um, basara's new episode plate um, total score 3439 pretty high um, not the best um, total score out there so far. We've seen 3,500 or more. Um, focusing on charm and voice just like Makinas uh, because the event currently requires um, points from these two stats. So that's pretty uh, handy when it comes to obtaining a high score for this current event. Or maybe even for normal life for the songs under this current event. Uh, especially if you want to up your own personal player rank. Center skill. Alright, units. Uh, charm increases by 60% up. So 60% is pretty high. Um, and But sadly to say, it only focuses on the unit. So basically, whoever is equipped with this episode plate as a center um, will only be affected by this particular boost. So 60, that, that's, that's probably one of the reasons why the percentage rate is quite high. Alright, so let's take a look here at the active skill. For 20 seconds where well, you will have an easier time um, tapping the notes. So Basara's plate is more of a support um, in terms of mission clearing or maybe trying to get through a song uh, easier. Um, Juritic Beginner is a pretty tough song even on a very hard difficulty. Um, it has notes that require you to react very quickly. So sometimes your timing may not be very good or rather um, your timing may be off slightly. So I guess Basara's active skill might come in handy in this kind of situation. Um, yeah, so pretty decent active skill in terms of mission clearing or maybe um well supporting yourself to get a better result um, maybe a, like a full combo or a perfect full combo if you're trying to clear those missions um for the events itself 
Alright, so life skill, as you can see, life skill has an S rank as well. So at the beginning of the 30 second mark, for 7 seconds, your score is boosted by 80% up. Not the best duration as we have seen recently. All the new plates apparently have pretty short duration periods, I guess. Um, I guess because most of the songs nowadays are pretty short timed. Or rather, they have a very short duration of play. Um, probably that's why the duration for the boosts is pretty low. Um, definitely these plates will not help um, with some songs like maybe uh, Sekan Hiko Eve, um, the Christmas version. So Sekan Eve, um, yeah, the that particular song is the longest that is in the game currently. So songs like those, definitely you cannot use plates like this because the duration is too short. Um, yeah. So keep that in mind. Alright, so sadly to say Basara's plate doesn't have any special notes attached to it. So it's a pretty normal um, support episode plate. I guess there are definitely better uh, episode plates out there that, um, that that does a better job in supporting. Um, but you know, considering that it has a pretty high total score and it's a support plate, I guess it is definitely a plate that is worth looking into if you don't really have a good setup of uh, support plates. Um, Basara's plate is definitely not meant to be used as a center episode plate um, unless for special circumstances like I mentioned earlier. Uh, so yeah, if you wish to toss your money into this, I would highly recommend you to think about it twice. You know, so it is definitely a plate worth obtaining, but definitely not the kind of episode plate that you want to spend two hundred to three hundred dollars worth, um, just trying to obtain this plate. If you want to just get the costume points for Basara's new Howling Moon costume, I would just ask you to probably casually um save up, uh, singing stones just in case maybe Basara's birthday when he has a step step up gacha. You know, um, the costume might reappear within the episode plates that are available for his birthday step up. Or maybe you just have to wait one more year and then there's a reissue gacha for Halloween costumes. So yeah, like we are seeing currently for Ranka and Reina's uh, gacha banner, there is one coming up that is returning the uh, Halloween costumes um, for sale I guess. Alright, so let's take a look at the other plates here. Um, that is, okay, so Min Mei's plate is definitely an exclusive. Um, and of course, this one is as also exclusive for this banner. So they, there is two exclusive plates, which is pretty strange. I guess that's probably one of the reasons why they tossed in that many episode, uh, exclusive episode plates into this gacha banner because Basara's plate isn't all that enticing compared to Makina's. So if if it was me, I would rather spend the 500 singing stones on Makina's banner rather than Basara's banner. Um, well, then there is also the factor to think about whether you're a Basara fan or a Makina fan because you want the costumes unlocked. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's take a look at this plate here, 3207, focusing on soul and a bit of voice. Unit's life increases by 20% up. You know, life recovery 30%, not the best healing skill. Uh, at the 22 second mark, for 14 seconds, your score is boosted by 80%. Up. So, immediately, this episode plate overthrows Basara's episode plate because of the longer duration period. Um, in terms of center skill use, like I said, both episode plates are not meant for high score purposes, so it's meant to be a support episode plate. And, you know, no special notes attached to this one as well. So the only losing out factor on this episode plate is the total score. So I guess, you know, it really weighs down on whether you want a better high total score or a longer duration on the support itself. So if you're using this episode plate on Seika and Eve, I think this is definitely going to be an episode plate worth benefiting you because of the long duration period. Um, but in terms of short songs like uh, Jiritic Beginner, I guess Basara's episode play would definitely be better you know, compared to this current one. So yeah. Anyway guys, we're going to do one template pool. That's it. Um, I'm only after with Basara's costume. So I guess any of the three exclusive plates for this gacha 
will definitely be a highlight point. Um, yeah, I'm not really expecting much because recently my luck has been used up quite a bit. So um, let's see. <laughs> Okay guys, so something happened with the audio recording, so this part of the video onwards is gonna be a bit weird in terms of timing because the audio was messed up. Anyway guys, let's do this poll. We know what we want to see, so we're gonna go uh, straight into it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, oh dear lot. Okay, there's no red... Oh, okay, so we do get a rainbow box and a red box straight away. On the second bling, uh, hopefully, oh, we're gonna start off the with the rainbow box straight away. Okay, um, <laughs> I do have the this plate already, so I don't know whether it's evolved or not. I can't really remember, but yeah, I guess if it is not evolved, then we'll probably see evolved. Then if not, uh, it's gonna unlock uh, a secret board, so I think that's okay. You know, but you know. Considering that most of the SDF Macross episode plates are kind of lacking in terms of uh, capability to keep up with all the new episode plates, it is not such a good thing to get one of them. So anyway guys, uh, oh, okay, red box, uh, <laughs> so just when I just, just when I bad mouth um, all the first gen Macross episode plates, uh, Min Mei decides to toss me a... Uh, the exclusive version to 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 shut my mouth up so <laughs> okay okay i learned my lesson um anyway guys uh yeah uh here you go since i have the plate you guys can enjoy the image of the episode plate here all right so no new Basara plate, but I guess that's to be expected considering the luck that I've been having for the last few videos. Alright guys, we are not done yet. So if you guys have actually uh, subscribed to the Utamaku Pass uh, subscription, um, yeah, you probably have enough tickets for this current gacha, which is Chojiku Gacha or Super Dimension Gacha for the English users. Now. Uh, it is basically a monthly subscription for Uta Macross, so you can purchase this Uta Maku Pass subscription, and it will give you resources uh, for the game. And of course, you can see I am three days away from ending my subscription. So yeah, as you can tell, that I'm not syncing together with the video mainly because, like I said earlier, my audio recording has got messed up. So yeah, <laughs> by right, um, you would have enough tickets right now to do a 10 ticket pool for that current gacha banner uh, for the Utamaku Pass. That's basically what we're going to do right now. So guys, um, do take note, this gacha pool is not the same as uh, any normal gacha banner because, well, there is no big rate up and the percentage for the um, episode plates are a bit different as compared to the normal gachas that we usually have. And as you can tell, I have uh, collected 10 tickets enough and of course the first one that was going to expire as you've seen previously on the screen, um, which was on the 31st of October. So I didn't want to wait um, for the ticket to expire because I'm, my subscription is going to end in 3 days time so there's really no reason for me to wait to collect the last ticket uh, to do the video so I'm just going to dive straight into this uh, and I'm going to do the 10 ticket pool uh, right now okay we do get some loading here um, I'm honestly not expecting anything big from this uh, as you can tell, oh my goodness, we have not a single Valkyrie. No red boxes. Seriously? Okay, so, um, like I mentioned earlier, um, this gacha is not your standard gacha. It's, uh, I don't know. Um, it's, it's kind of like a discounted red gacha, but 
the chances of getting a, a 5 star plate is pretty low um, and you know getting plates that are duplicates are definitely possible as you can see um, I do get two uh, brand new episode plates that I have not gotten before oh I have enough points for Cheryl's costume which is fantastic um, yeah so as you can see I didn't get any fan anything fantastic out of this gacha pool um, so that's pretty much um, what you have to consider when it comes to Utamaku Pass subscription uh, if you take a look at the banner here uh, you can see the rates of the um, you know for each rarity for the episode plates to appear as you can tell I circled the 5 star first and of course at 5% rate of appearance and of course taking a look at the more uh, more common ones that appeared during my experience of the pool which is the 3 star episode plates which is at 74.9% uh, but to consider that the rarest plate that we pulled was a 1 star which was at 5% which is the same percentage rating as the 5 star that was really depressing so guys um yeah so don't really expect too much from this um gacha especially um so if you're really considering investing into the subscription for utamaku pass do not just look at the episode plate chances uh look at it as a whole because well you're actually paying uh if i'm not wrong i think the subscription is at 1200 yen which is about 12 us dollars um yeah you're getting actually a whole bunch of stuff um which is basically like if you take a look here on the tab here uh you get a whole bunch of stuff uh especially for you know your gameplay and of course the rarity up star um yeah so rarity up star is definitely very useful then of course there we have the resources for the episode plates then of course there is the presence that you can give to your diva for uh, increasing their affection now in the last video i did for the utamaku pass i did mention that the present was pretty useless i guess i have to change my information there because ever since the update of the game the diva's affection level has been unkept to from level 40 to now level 50 at max so I guess the premium present is a very useful item currently because the item actually allows you to gain the max amount of uh, affection points for your diva uh, no matter what they actually request for. Um, so that is a pretty useful item right there. So in terms of diva affection leveling, the Utamaku Pass subscription is looking pretty good. Um, then of course there is the other item um, they have we have here is the life adder. Um Now the life adder basically is an item um, you use for refreshing the play on the daily event songs, um, especially when you want to obtain that um, singing stone reward because you couldn't full combo the difficulty of the song previously so you can retry and retry again with the life actor um yeah then of course the tickets for the space time gacha or super dimension gacha now do not consider the lousy rates on the gacha itself as a demeaning factor of the purchase of the utamaku pass basically consider everything as a super discounted pack the resources for your episode plate plus of course the premium gift the live actors and of course your chances of getting uh, maybe another five star episode plate but really depends on luck so guys um consider investing in the utamaku pass as a long-term investment um, you may be lucky uh, luckier than me uh, as you have seen in my pool video for the Uta, uh, Cho GQ Gacha uh, Super Dimension Gacha so guys um, hopefully you will consider that um, alright so we're gonna look at the 
premium gift because uh, I have not really done a video on it so I guess this gacha video has turned towards a uh, tutorial sense <laughs> so let's take a look at how we can use the premium gift uh, on the diva itself so yeah like I mentioned earlier you don't really have to um, pay attention towards what the diva is requesting you anymore when it comes to using the premium gift so I'm going to change to Ranka here because she's my bae. I definitely want to have her maxed out first before anyone else. So yes, guys, um, as you can see, my diva affection for Ranka is currently level 43. Um, and you can tell that she's actually requesting the item for food uh, category. So um, I'll wi I will be making a video on, you know, all the divas. Uh, requests so I it has been very difficult to put together that video because I have to wait each day to refresh to see whether the diva requests a particular item or a category of items you know to get the phrasing out so that you guys can have a easier visual experience to um, give give them the correct item so guys, be patient for that video. I promise you that video will come out in the next few days. Um, I'm just finding time to put that video together. So guys, uh, look forward to that video and hopefully it helps you guys um, in terms of leveling up your diva affections. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go straight into um, using the GIF. Okay, so we're going to toss the gift to Ranka. So no matter what she requests, you should be able to see the full amount of points, which is 2000 Diva Affection points. Um, now, normally, whatever she requests, if you give her the specific item from the category, which is her specialization, um, yeah, she would obtain 2000 points from that particular item. Now. Most of us will probably know that Ranka's iconic item is definitely K Tycoon. Now, I learned this very interesting fact. Um, for the English community, we have always recognized Ranka's telephone uh, as K Tycoon. Basically, K Tai means hand mobile phone in Japanese. Now, the Japanese fans, though, have uh, mentioned to me that the fans in Japan actually recognize K Tycoon as. O San Sho San uh, because K Tycoon was designed after the uh, Japanese um, lizard or well, salamander Japanese salamander uh, well the sal salamander in Japanese is called O San Sho so that's why the Japanese fans call Ranka's handphone as O San Sho San instead of K Tycoon because uh, they, they felt very strange when I mentioned K Tycoon um, when I was talking about Ranka's mobile phone or you know um, anything to do with Ranka that she has the K Tycoon design along with the costume that kind of thing so yeah so very interesting fact um, there uh, maybe if you have not known um, as a Macross fan, or maybe if you have already known, good for you. So, <laughs> uh, interesting trivia right there. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all the information I have for you. Uh, hopefully you guys have found this video, um, gacha slash tutorial video, informative um, and entertaining. Uh, Thank you guys so much if you have watched all the way to the end. I can't say thank you enough every single video. Um, but yes, I really appreciate you guys if you have watched all the way to the end. Uh, I will be putting this video under the Utah Macross tutorial playlist as well uh, that I have on my YouTube channel so that you guys can probably search for this video uh, and have an easier time referring to it. So guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross gacha slash tutorial video, whichever one comes first. Until then, guys, bye!